Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. We're going to work with word problems that involve division. We've done a lot of practice in the last couple of sections with division, uh, getting you comfortable with the process of division. Now let's read a problem and understand how to use it. The first one says, I have 82 eggs and 6 buckets. How many eggs go into each bucket and are there any eggs left over? So I have 82 eggs, I've got six buckets in front of me. I'm going to divide those eggs evenly among those buckets. I wanna figure out how many eggs can go into each of those buckets. And also I wanna know if there are any left over. So this is a division problem because we're dividing the amount of eggs over six buckets. So really what we have is 82 eggs and we're dividing by six. We wanna see how many times will six go into that number. So how many times will six go into eight? That will only go one time, then we multiply. Six times one is six and subtract. Eight minus six is two. Once we've done the subtraction, we reach up and grab the next uh, digit, which is a two. How many times will six go into 22? Six times four is 24, that's too many. Six times three is 18, so three goes there. Three times six is 18, we subtract. And then we need to, uh, Maybe borrow a little bit if you can't do this in your head. Make that a 12, make that a 1. 12 minus 8 gives you 4. And notice that this 4 that we're done with at the end is less than 6. There's nothing left to grab. So what this is telling us is 13 buckets. I'm sorry, 13 eggs. 13 eggs in each bucket. And after we put 13 eggs evenly in each bucket, we have 4 buckets left over, or four eggs left over. Okay, we can't put another egg into each one of the buckets because we only have four left. We have six buckets there, so we can't divide those evenly. So that's what the remainder is in this case, and that's what a remainder really is. Okay, now the next problem says a burger restaurant has $1,157 in sales. If each burger costs $13, which is an expensive burger, how many did they sell? So they have a pile of money on the table, $1,157. Each burger costs $13. How many did they sell? This is a division problem. We have a large amount of money. We know how much each burger costs. So now we want to divide to find out how many burgers we sold. $1,157. We're dividing by the $13 burger to see what it is. Okay. So then we first look and see, can 13 go into 1? And it can't. Can 13 go into 11? And it also can. Can 13 go into 115? Of course it can. How many times does 13 go into 115? I actually don't know off the top of my head, so we go off to the side here. Let's do 13 times 8, just to try it out. 8 times 3 is 24, but the 4 carry the 2. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So that's 104. That's not terribly close to that, but it's pretty close. Let's try 13 times 9 and just see what we get. 9 times 3 is 27, put the 7, carry the 2. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 2 is 11, 117. Okay, so if we go 9 times, that's 117, that's too many. So the correct answer is actually 8 times, right? We put the 8 on top of here. We know what the answer to this multiplication here is 104. All right, and now we can subtract straight away. 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 minus 0 is also 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, we don't have to write that down. After we do that subtraction, we reach up and grab the next digit, and it's 117 now. Look at what we have here. In the course of doing this, we actually figured out that 13 times 9 was 117. So 13 can go into this actually nine times. We multiply.